Hello. Hi, Meeple. <laughs> anyway, congrats on the 200th episode. This is Kate Fox from the Discord. Um, this is Maple. But yeah, thanks for bringing all this Amiga nostalgia into my life and making my week a little bit better every Friday. So yeah, congrats. Two, one. Happy, Happy 200th, 200th episode. Episodes. I feel like we should have party hats and yeah, yeah. streamers Celebrate, and stuff. Celebrate, guys. <laughs> Seriously, we've loved your podcast from the very start. Like, we do one every week, but we're not even up to 200 yet. So yeah, I know. I've got the stamina. <laughs> you've beat us to it, and it's amazing to see how your community's grown. You know, Discord, I love chatting to you guys every day. I love coming and seeing John and Islands. That was awesome. Yep. Amiga Island, and it's just great to see you guys from the US really taking an interest in this kind of really big in Europe platform, wasn't it? Yeah, great to see the other perspective of how things were in America, yeah, absolutely. So uh, keep the passion alive, guys, and congrats on 200 episodes. Keep rocking for another 200. Hi, everyone. I'm off to my man cave. And that's where I normally watch the Amigos shows. So I have to congratulate you today on uh, reaching your episode 200. It's been a nice journey and I hope it will uh, last for a lot longer. So here we're now entering, almost entering, my uh, old, uh, an old garage which I made into a man cave. So I painted the front to look like a bar. <laughs> so here we go in. Here is where uh, I brew my beers and watch the Amigos. And of course, have my Amigas. Some of them. The others are in storage. And I also have a nice brew for tonight on the tap. Ready for me? So that's gonna be lovely. <laughs> so, have a nice one, everyone. And to John and Aaron, go guys. <laughs> All right guys, just wanna say congratulations on surviving 200 episodes together. I wanna to thank you both for your hard work through the years and you've been a great constant in my life through the good times and the bad. It's always been a crack watching you live on Friday, except when I don't. And of course, it's been an honor to support you through Patreon. I mean, how I kind of refused to get my name sung in both still set tones. Uh, it was great meeting you in uh, Amiga Ireland this year, both, and also Figgy, uh, Martin, Pixels at Dawn, and Edwin. I uh, really hope Iron makes a trip in 2020. I'm um, looking forward to the next 200 episodes, and uh, as Bruce Willis says in Lethal Weapon, they may take our lives, but they'll never take our amigos. Hello from Canada. I wanted to congratulate uh, Boat and Aaron on reaching episode 200. It's an impressive accomplishment and really shows their uh, passion and dedication. I also want to congratulate the others that do such great work to help contribute, like Dreamcatcher and his incredibly creative and deep articles, uh, like uh, Gary Hucker and his great tech videos, like Duncan Stiles and his reviews, uh, Chris Folds and his videos and uh, articles. Um, the countless others on Discord that really helped make the Amigos community so great. I found the Amigos back in September of 2016 uh, during the Battle Squadron episode because I love Battle Squadron. Um, in that episode actually Aaron was having some phantom mouse click issues that um, I uh, did a little bit of research on and sent in some information to, to John about just areas to help troubleshoot. Uh, John replied back and he was so impressed he asked if I could do an article on it. So I, I did and after that I've, I've been hooked. I find myself looking forward to every new episode and I try to catch the live ones when I can. And I can't thank you guys enough for the warm reception and the friendship that I've found with you guys and through you guys to the, the rest of the Amigos community. Here's to 200 more. Adios my friends. Oh, and here's a little snippet for Aaron. Enjoy. Hey guys, congratulations on making it to episode 200. A fantastic achievement. I think I'm one of the few people that actually tuned into week one, episode one, when it came out, somehow discovering it. And I hear two goofballs talking about one of the world's worst Amiga games. Can't believe you chose that for episode one. I only tuned in um, for episode two to see if it get any worse. Thankfully it didn't, it picked up. 
and since then it's become a staple of mine. I think I've listened to what you guys in my ears for three, four hundred, maybe even five hundred hours worth of content. Everything from obviously keyboards and keycaps, that's probably a hundred hours worth, um, to boats, cruise trips, Mothman. It's fantastic. <laughs> I love it all. Um, you, should, you guys should be really proud of what you've built. You built not just a show, but you built a community around it with the fans, the Discord, um, and just keeping Amiga alive for so many folks. Um, that's what the show kind of means to me nowadays. It's kind of one of my weekly escapes from reality. You two guys have become kind of two of my best friends that somehow I've never met, and I hope to kind of meet with you guys at some point. And, aiming for Amiga Island next year, so if one of you can make it to there, that'd be fantastic. But if not, I guess um, at some point I'll make it to West Virginia and get to see Mothman for my, myself. I'm probably being told Mothman's not in West Virginia, but I don't know. After your explanation of cricket, I can get away with anything. Um, so let's say, here's to another, I won't say 200 episodes, because I think Aaron might beat you down by then, but let's at least another 50 or 100 before you two guys um, get into a, a massive fight live on YouTube. So take it easy. Thanks again for all your content. Adios. Hi John and Aaron, Graham from Sydney. Uh, congratulations on reaching 200 episodes. Uh, first off, I wanted to say that I discovered your show through Rob Flack O'Hara. Uh, I bought his Commodore book through Amazon and discovered his podcasts through that and he did a, pro a cross promotional episode with you guys. I decided to become a Patreon supporter after episode 62, which was your arcade port episode. Um, I could just relate to your stories, your experiences through the Amiga computers, even though I used an Atari ST during that time of my life, so don't, uh, don't burn me for that. Your show has always entertained me, uh, especially on my long commutes to and from work. Um, your shows are also informative, and that's why I and everyone else who supports Amigos continues to listen to the shows that you put out. We just love the way how you guys bounce ideas off each other, take little digs at each other, have fun. It's just very entertaining and at times amusing to watch. 2016 when I discovered your show uh, that was a real tough year for my family um, I was working very long hours my wife was having a real tough time um, with her mother's cancer battle and my son was officially diagnosed with ADHD and ODD um, so the family life took a real big hit that year and there wasn't that much fun going on uh, and your show was one of the few bits of light in that uh, darker year, darker period of my life. The community around this show is uh, really great. Um, the Discord is fantastic and I've learned so much. For example, Jason Warns uh, shared some plans to make one of these things, which is a Amiga RGB to S video adapter. Um, that's a PAL version that I've made. It works like a dream and it's a real lifesaver. It's fantastic. And because of the community around your show, it's actually why I decided that in 2020 I'm going to make the journey to Amiga Island. Um, so I'm looking forward to meeting everyone who can make it to that event. Um, and lastly, a toast for 200 episodes and 200 more. Cheers! Hey, Pixels at Dawn here. Well, Aaron, Boats, Brent, Congratulations on reaching your bicentenary. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> I, I, I have to admit, um, I had no inclination that the show would go on for quite, quite this long, but you've made it work. You've really made it work. Um, I was looking back through the records of uh, where I uh, started watching the Amigos, and it actually surprised me a bit that. Uh, through one of my YouTube accounts or the other, I've actually been subscribed pretty much since day one. A little bit after that, maybe. Um, but although it wasn't until a little while in that I started um, uh, watching the show religiously, week after week, 
doing the live streams and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, one of my earliest memories is uh, was a suggesting boat to play Nick Fowler's Championship Golf on a uh, on one of his one of these uh, Amigos plays, and discovering that within minutes of me actually posting this on Facebook, um, he was already streaming it on, <laughs> on the channel. So. Uh, that was a uh, certainly put me in a good mind, but yeah, it's been great. Um, so many games covered, and such good humour of it as well. Who knew that uh, we'd be uh, watching our West Virginian retro gaming champions at this point in time? And it's not just about the show either. It's about all the charity stuff with Amigathon and things like that, which. Uh, a lot of podcasts wouldn't be doing and um, and also it's about the community as well I mean it's not just people in the show but it's the people around the show as well I've, I've met quite a few of you now and uh, and that's it's such a special community and such a uh, uh, just everyone's nice to each other <laughs> that's the great thing and now with the Amigos Game Selection Committee and all that kind of stuff, I feel like I'm really part of the whole whole thing. So, uh, so well done. It's been great. Here's to another 200 episodes, if you feel you could make that much. But uh, cheers. Congratulations, John and Aaron, on 200 episodes of Amigos Retro Gaming. Uh, I started listening way back in the early days, probably around episode 4. And um, to my surprise, here were these uh, two fellas from West Virginia uh, doing an Amiga podcast. That was interesting in itself. Uh, pretty wacky, I'd say. I, I came across a fair um, haul of Amigas. Um, I'm not trying to brag or anything, I just uh, really do love these machines. And um, when I did come across a um, quite a substantial load of Amigas I was really really excited and I just wanted to connect with um, someone that would appreciate it and there's no one in the area here that's into Amiga they kind of look at you like you're um, very quaint when you mention old computers and Amigas and things like that but uh, uh, I really love them and um, I connected with uh, John sent John a message uh, just to show him what I what I had and John and Aaron both um, you know, showed a, a appreciation for the machines and um, I thought, oh well I'll uh, do some videos and um, I asked John if it was alright if I uh, hopped on the old gamble train and uh, John replied and said, yeah, go ahead and um, submit videos if you want to, that's fine. I drug out my uh, Amiga collection and started filming. So I hooked up the old car to the gamble train and headed off down um, main trunk uh, Amiga line to Commodore Station and um, there we go. I've uh, been doing videos ever since so I found that very rewarding and fun. One of the many things I really like about Amigos Retro Gaming are some of the sayings and uh, we don't hear a lot of uh, West Virginian around these parts, so um, I actually like them so much I use them in uh, my everyday life as much as I can. I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again, uh, you know, thanks very much John and Aaron. I know that, uh, you know, this takes a lot of your time, your spare time, and it's really appreciated. So uh, keep up the good work and here's to another 200 episodes. Cheers guys.